Yeah, you may have seen this movie that Raw Head Rex. Have you seen that? Is that something that's an, an actual legend over there, Leon? Or have what, you ever heard of that? Th- Raw Head Rex. It, it doesn't, doesn't ring any bells. Correct me if I if I get this this wrong, but the the basic story was it was some type of demon, and it was uh, it was some kind of guidestone or some something that was keeping it in the earth, and this farmer released it, and it so it started uh just killing everybody basically, but hmm. supposedly it was based on an actual legend from yeah what what you're saying there about this thing that's buried in the ground and it got released by yeah. accident that is exactly what has happened here where i where i live at, um in kirkham and wheaton a book is written in 1876 and it's reference made to a barrow a burial ground or kern near wheaton lane heads which was accidentally opened this burial chamber had a reputation of being haunted by a boggart or a hairy ghost. In this write-up, let's just pay attention to a couple of names and places. Alright, so we've got Wheaton, we know about that. All these dates are in here. Uh, one of the earliest write-ups of it goes back to 1851. It goes on to say here, Farmer responsible being chased by a ghost is, is described. So let's do a quick quick read of what the writer said. Before I leave this village of Wheaton, I must take you to a cairn not far from Wheaton Lane Heads in a field called Mohay. I relate this strange tale of its discovery. The farmer was ploughing on the spot when the horse took fright and fled from the field. Some type of demon and it was uh it was some kind of guidestone or some something that was keeping it in the earth and this farmer released it and it and the man in this mare ran after, being pursued by a demon of the filed, big, hairy thing. For years the corn was untouched, but basically it was pulled to bits and they found burial urns inside it. Uh, well, the kern is described as round, being a fire burnt brick stones. It was in the vicinity of Stanley House Farm. Here's the village of Wheaton. Here is the area where the lady saw the bull-sized dog walking along the field and she said it came trundling down here on all fours as big as a bull which depending on your breed of bull or whatever I say which is probably shoulders was probably about as high as mine um, she said it looked more like a dog though as in its stature and how it walked. So it carried on that way towards uh, a bit of woodland and then just disappeared out of sight. We just watched that uh, video, that encounter. Carrying on down to where it disappeared to, in the bushes and the trees. Now a little bit further down, there's a green bridge. By the Christ, I tell you, he was, a, he was like a donkey. He's a donkey. But well, like a dog. A big bloody dog, I tell you now. A big head. His head wasn't too big. I tell you what, it's his head. A bobby. It was up here. That was it. It was like a cross between them. A big horse or a donkey and a bobby. And he's on all fours. There's a green bridge, which we will recognise. Is the bridge where the train spotter saw the dogman werewolf or boggart. 
Um, so there's your green bridge. There's the bit where she saw the animal. Okay. Bear with me, I know it's going to be it's a bit strange and a bit weird. Stanley House Farm, we're going to go back to that again. And as we zoom in, and you can already see it. There's already some of their telling us that urns found. So, whilst this house was being built, they came across this burial mound in these urns. All that was left must have been the urns deeper in the ground. But our boggit was still looking after the place, still haunting it, still making sure no one messed with it. And why is it still showing itself now, here and here, basically all around this area? Because that's its job to do, isn't it? When um, a, a farmer was ploughing a field with a horse, that's how far back it goes. He ripped up some stones of this burial mound, this this barrow, uh, and that that was one of the first uh, semi up to date recordings of this this thing that appeared from nowhere, which was a huge big dog as size of a car for a donkey, well, and that that is the fact, same. The fact it was a dog. That's pretty much the premise of that movie, wasn't it, Da? Farmer pulled, pulled up that big stone and it. <clears throat> it that's what he did. Yeah, it, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if it if it comes from that legend or if it comes from that uh, that story of it all them years back. Rawhead Rex.